Welcome, my friends. We are at a beach in Todos Santos, and we are blessed with whales close to the shore the entire time, so you might get to see them from time to time out there. Today, I have a Kundalini Yoga practice for you to let your energy be free flowing. As I walk you through this practice, notice what happens when you just let go and let your energy be free. I'll join you seated on the mat. Sit up nice and tall, roll your shoulder heads up and back, feeling space you created between shoulders and ears. Close your eyes and reach up to the crown of your head, chin slightly dipped as you lengthen your tailbone towards the earth. Take a few conscious breaths, feeling yourself arrive here on the mat. And with hands relaxed to your knees, or you may take a mudra with your thumb and index finger kissing. We are going to begin our practice with one minute of breath of fire. For breath of fire, we'll begin with a full complete inhale, followed by a full complete exhale, and then we'll inhale halfway and begin to pump our navel back to our spine. Now these are active, forceful exhales and passive inhales. Let's begin. Full complete inhale. Full complete exhale. Inhale halfway and begin pumping your navel back to your spine. As you're doing breath of fire, let your energy build, let it flow. Notice if your energy is flowing or if there's any stuck energy or emotions that are arising. Just remember that anything comes up, no matter whether you view the energy or emotions as being uplifting or hindering, we can use that energy in whatever capacity it is. It is all just energy. So let it flow, let it be free. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, hold it at the top, hold it. Engage your root lock, pull through your pelvic floor, your sexual organs. See if you can take in a little more air. Beautiful, my friends. And when you're ready, long, slow, steady exhale out your nose. Feeling your body soften. So extend both your legs out long as wide as you comfortably can. We'll flex our feet, our toes and kneecaps will point up towards the sky. And if it's accessible, take your two piece fingers around your big toes at the same time, or you can hold along the back side of your legs wherever is accessible. We're going to breathe in at the center and exhale, hinge over one of your legs, then inhale, lift to center, and exhale, hinge over the opposite leg, now taking it side to side. I want you to go at your own pace, sink your breath with the movement. Let's begin, breathe in, lift up to center, and exhale, hinge. We're breathing in as we lift to center, and exhaling as we hinge. Keeping a nice flat back as you hinge over your legs, lifting up through your heart, letting it shine. Feel your sits bones rooting into Mother Earth, grounding down as you take it side to side. Letting your energy flow through this connection. Keep going, stay present. On your next inhale, lift up to center and exhale, hinge forward through center. And rise up, bring soles of feet in to find a comfortable cross-leg seat. 
we're moving into Sufi grinds. From here, we'll inhale, take your spine forward into a circle, and as you exhale, your weight shifts back as you roll back into your sits bones. Breathe in, taking the upper body forward, weight shifts forward, spiraling your spine, stirring the bowl of your pelvis with the spoon of your spine. Breathe deeply, my friend. Breathe rhythmically. Let your energy flow from the base of your spine, spiraling up your spine. Let's switch directions. Reconnecting that breath of yours with the movement, spiraling your spine in the opposite direction, stirring the bowl of your pelvis, your base, with the spoon of your spine. All right, let's inhale deeply, lift up to center, and exhale. Go ahead and make your way to lying on your back. We'll draw one knee into your chest and then the other. Take hands to your knees, tuck chin to chest. From here, we're going to inhale, extend your legs out long and open your arms wide side to side. Head is lifted off the mat, then exhale, hug everything back into center. Inhale, open wide. Exhale, draw everything into center. Again, I want you to go at your own rhythmic pace, finding your flow with your energy. Let's begin. On your next breath in, open wide, and exhale, hug it in. Keep going. Big expansive inhalation and really drawing your navel back and down towards your spine with your exhalations. Press all that air out. Last one, exhale, hug it all in. And then lower your head to the mat. Take a slow rock side to side, noticing how you're feeling. Settling into stillness at center whenever you wish. Just being here with your breath, with your energy. For our next one, we're gonna stay here in this nice little ball. Lift your head, tucking your chin towards your chest. Hold it here, and you'll take breath of fire here. Remember, passive inhale, forceful exhalations. Your navel snaps back to your spine on your exhale. Begin breath of fire whenever you're ready. We'll be here for one minute.
five, four, three, two, one. Last one, hold your breath at the top, hold it, and slow, steady exhalation as you lower your head back towards the earth. Take a moment, notice how your energy is flowing, and slowly release those feet to the mat. We have one more reclined. Extend your legs out long. For a modified pose, you can place your palms face down at your side, slightly underneath your booty. And for the full pose, you can extend your arms out long, palms face down or face up, whatever your energy is telling you you need. Face down conserves energy, face up open and receptive to new energy. Plug your navel point in and your lower back into the mat. Lift your head, chin towards your chest. Your head is about six inches from the earth. Then lift your feet off the mat about six inches as well. Point your toes and go ahead and begin breath of fire. We are really activating our navel. Breath of fire through your nose. Exhale, pump your navel to your spine. Navel pumping in and out with each breath. Pump it, pump it. Gaze to your toes. Keep pumping your navel powerfully. Don't stop. You may alternate lowering one heel to the mat and then the other, but don't stop your breath of fire. Even if you need to lower both your heels to the mat, keep breath of fire going. Keep pumping your navel back to your spine. Challenge yourself to do it. You got this. Keep going. Tap into and activate that personal power center of yours. You're doing great. This is a strong exercise. Feel into your body. Feel into your strength. To complete this, inhale, deep stretch, apply your root lock, squeeze your rectum, sexual organs, hold it, and exhale, lovingly lowering everything to the mat. Relax down, let go, let yourself be, let your energy flow freely from your navel. Take a few moments here. Bend into your knees to bring one sole foot to the mat and then the other. Or roll over to your right side and make your way to an easy cross leg seat. We're traveling from our central body to our upper body and to our shoulders here. We'll place your four fingers on the front side of your shoulder with your thumb to the back, elbows parallel with your shoulders. We are going to inhale to the left, so you're going to go in the opposite direction of me and exhale to the right. We will continue this side to side, taking that passive inhale and powerful exhale. And when you're ready, begin. Inhale to the left, exhale to the right. Feel that twist at the navel point with your powerful exhales. Stay broad across your chest and your collarbones. Keep your elbows at the same height as your shoulders as you go side to side. Deep breath in, return to center, and exhale, release your palms to your thighs. Close your eyes and take a moment to notice how you're feeling. We'll be taking one more round of breath of fire with full kundalini eradicator to boost our energy. Bring your four fingertips to the pads of your palms, thumbs are out, and lift your arms to a 45 degree angle, thumb pointing up. Take a full breath in, Complete exhale out. Breathe in halfway and begin breath of fire pumping your navel. This one will be a little longer than our first round. We're going about a minute and a half. You got this. Keep going. Feel that energy flowing. Notice if your energy has changed from the beginning during our breath of fire to now.
keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Deep breath in, hold it at the top. Slowly bring your thumbs up overhead to kiss. Breathe in a little more. Grab the floor with the base of your spine. Hold your breath as long as you can. Hold it. Whenever you need to, super slowly exhale. And as you exhale, your arms will circle down, feeling the space of your aura with your fingertips. Feel into the energy you've been cultivating within your aura. Fingertips lower all the way down to the earth. And then once you're down at the bottom, go ahead and tap the ground a few times. Feeling yourself reground. Feeling the connection with the earth beneath you. Rest your hands wherever is comfortable. Sit up nice and tall. Lower right ear to right shoulder. We'll draw half moons. Circle chin towards your chest before you circle left ear to left shoulder. And take it back down through center. And then circle up right ear to right shoulder. Take it on your own feel good pace. Releasing any tension or tightness that may have built up from a practice or from breath of fire. Shoulders are relaxed, drawing back and down. Inhaling as you circle up to one side and slowly exhaling as you circle down to center. The next time your left ear meets your left shoulder, pause there and then lift it up to center. Bring your hands to prayer at heart, sending love and light to you and all beings. Namaste. May your energy be free flowing, my friend. Please let me know if you enjoyed our Kundalini yoga practice in the comments below. Be sure to let me know if you would like more of these practices. I believe this is my second or third practice on our channel. And before you step away, please take a moment to throw the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, I would love for you to subscribe to the Waken Actions A to B2 Yoga channel to help lift the channel up and help make our content more visible to others so we can spread the love of yoga with others. So much love from my heart to yours.